What is up, everybody? Welcome back. So last video I said I might do day four because I had fun. So I'm here on day four. Uh, it's actually the same day, too. Normally I, would, I do uh, one a day, one day a day. But I had fun with day three. So I decided, whatever. I'm going to suffer for another hour. Let's record day four. Probably, probably will be the last time, last one of this series. But whatever, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just start. Day four. Friday, September 25th, 2020. The Orcus Worker Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro eco terrorism lyrics. Eco terrorism. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal furry sedative. That says fury, not fur, you fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh shit! It's, uh, what's your face? Hyde. Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming. Hey, my boy Gala. After his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. I mean, you are the first person, I guess. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say... Our. Wait, what did I say? Uh... Our first customer. Oh, because I'm the only person here? Yeah. When obviously, there's only you here. Oh. I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I feel the presence of you guys with me. We're all just one big family. I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Is that ginger drink again? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Do we have any blood? Dot dot dot. Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. <laughs> Let me grab the knife and just slit my fucking throat. <laughs> That's all the blood you need right there. <laughs> Come on. Did you think I was serious? <laughs> oh, God. I did think you were serious, Hyde. Oh. Nah. Give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Ginger green tea. All right. Uh, ginger green tea. So tea. Is tea bitter? I don't think so. Is it? Green tea, ginger. Yeah. Wait, did it say green tea or regular tea? Is there a difference? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it did say green tea. Oh, I would have fucked that up. Okay, I'm glad I trashed that. Gin ginger. Green tea. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool. I almost fucked that up completely. The only reason I noticed is because I look at the animation down there and it looked different from the last time. Oh, good thing I checked. That could have been bad. They would have fucking chopped my fucking throat off and drank my blood. Your drink is ready. Let's see. I'm sorry I almost messed it up. I am hope you didn't see that. Good. <laughs> Looks like I made it, boys. We're not going to get slit. Glad you liked it. By the way, if you don't mind my asking... Ask away. You said you're here for work? Yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... Hmm, what's the word? Annoying. Something as honorable as that. Hmm. Then, are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. Uh, I mean, if you are, dog. Uh, I can hook you up with the underground. I just burp place. <laughs> in case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job, per se, but definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then, what is it? Guess. You travel a lot? More or less. 
I'm trying to think what would you, what would you be? Are you like a hitman? You befriended a startup founder. So I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of an investment agency. What? How did you get that out of whatever? <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. I can relate to that. So right now, I'm a model. A model? You're not. Mm, you're not really model material. I'm sorry. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure. Eh, that's debatable. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? I'm actually a girl. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Oh my god. Is that really you? Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears. Which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. Isn't that false advertising? It doesn't fucking matter, dude. No one cares. <laughs> don't be naive. That's what I'm saying. Don't be naive, me. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. Because you're not in the film industry like me, fool. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. He's gonna say some shit like 30 years. Not much more than 30 years. <laughs> I fucking called it! <laughs> I swear I haven't played this yet. I swear I haven't played this yet. I just completely fucking called that. Wow. Is that my friend Gala? Oh, it's Freya. Good evening! Don't fucking yell, Jesus. Can you please be a little quieter? That's what I'm saying. There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person, if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. Bro, what a fucking high was just like, I do mind, fucking chopped their head off. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. Well, I guess everyone has seen her before because she's always here. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. Loud and annoying. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Yeah, pretty much. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. And then he'll be like, no it's not. Not for me. Not for me, yeah. <laughs> My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually, I work until it's the grandchild. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck and in need of a warm drink. So, brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. Oh, shit. You're switching it up? I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet without coffee. Sweet. Uh, is green tea sweet? No, okay. Uh, milk, honey. Okay, so milk, honey, honey. Warm and sweet. It's not warm though, fuck. Uh, tea, no, that's coffee. Green tea with honey. No. Fuck! What is warm without coffee? 
warm honey honey if you don't like that Freya I'm so fucking sorry <laughs> warm and sweet without coffee tea honey and honey right honey tea are we happy with that a warm sweet drink ready nice hell yeah fuck yeah <laughs> a perfect drink to end a day we did it we did it yeah glad you liked it so you're a writer yeah i work for the evening whispers but i'm also working on my own novel right now sounds interesting what kind of novel are you writing uh, it's complicated you should wait until she finishes it. I don't even think she knows what she's writing, to be honest. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. Like my favorite animes. So, not fantasy or sci-fi? Hmm, I'm still not sure. Probably it'll be normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. <laughs> Sounds a bit racist. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is. I guess it is. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine, even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Well, Freya, if you ever want to come to our world, I'll prove you right. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Shit, Hyde. You cracked the fucking case? We need you over here. Goddamn. Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. What if this game become a social message? Oh my god. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Jesus, okay, spit some facts. All right, all right. I'm liking this. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. For you, it's fantasy. For us, it's fucking reality. That's what fiction's for. Anyway, painting the what-ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Oh, is that Gala? 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 Hi, everyone. Oh, shit, it's that one bitch, Lua. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. Imagine if I worked at a real coffee shop and just some lady walked in. I was like, oh shit, it's that bitch. What's up? <laughs> I would get fired so fucking quick. I would, I would lose my job in a little instant. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I needed an escape from my coworkers. So, I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? What does that mean? I feel like she's saying up some sass. He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? You're always so nosy, Freya. Butt out. To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. Dot dot dot. We shall fix that with a warm drink, then. Good idea. Thanks. Did I, did I interrupt your uh, phone call right there? Are you, are you good, Mr. Hyde? I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte. Is there a problem? No, it's nothing. Sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. Do I not know how to make a fucking green tea latte? Okay, hold on. Green tea latte. Green tea. Green tea milk and milk. Okay. Green tea milk and milk. Right? I already forgot. 
Green tea, milk and milk. Green tea, milk and milk. Okay, we're good. Uh, brew. Oh shit, we can do latte art. Hell yeah. I haven't done this in a minute. Uh, how do you make the fucking leaf again? I feel like I've seen someone do it before. Fuck! I did it again. God, fuck. Shit, fuck. Damn it. I pressed the wrong button. Fuck. Damn it. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Okay, at least she didn't complain that I drew completely no art on it because I fucking fucked up again. God damn it, I'm mad. I was gonna draw a nice cute fucking leaf on it, but no. I should really read the fucking directions before I start pressing buttons. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power not the thought, to connect people's hearts. <laughs> that sounds pretty dumb, dude. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. Not a thought. By the way, about Bailey's. Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. Why are you asking her? I'm the, place, I'm, the, I'm the guy who fucking owns this place. He hasn't. Oh. Am I interrupting something again, Hyde? I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Nah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Please don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Bailey's is... Or was... I don't know. My boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Everyone's so nosy in this game! Cheat, mind, mind your own fucking business! God damn! Hey, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? I don't know, Freya! Is it? I mean, you do the same fucking thing too! I don't know! You tell me. Uh huh. You tell me? Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus, and he's an elf. Hmm, the usual racial problems then. Psst! Show some manners, old man! What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's alright. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close, and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they fear I'll be treated like a... like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times, I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we have been for the last 10 years. 10 years you've been together? What the fuck? I thought it was just like a fling thing, you know? 10 years? Shit. So, you've been together for 10 years as a couple. And he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years that was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. <laughs> What's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you, even if he has to leave his family. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Problem solved, then? Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. I mean, I guess, but still, you know? 
I don't know. I don't want to butt in. I'm not giving family advice like fucking last episode. Talk about the video game characters. It's not that simple. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, the fight cam's back on. Oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets his decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua. Did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes. No. Maybe a little bit. We didn't think it would get this far. But like after 10 years, you gotta fucking figure something out, you know? Like, damn. <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. Alright, fuck, alright. Fight cam on. Jesus, okay, Freya. You might want to scoot the fuck back. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him? Family approval? If you're asking for racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. Freya, just stay out of it, dog. This isn't gonna end well. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? Dot dot dot. I love him. Of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish. Because I can't do the same for him. Answer your phone, goddammit! Dot dot dot. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So, you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No. They always rejected the idea. Well, see, I get her side, and I get his side. Like, you don't know them. They could be fucking complete assholes. So, like, why are you trying to defend them so much? But then again, it's like, you know, that's family, and you can't just turn your back on family, you know? But, like, I understand both. I understand why she's upset. I understand why he's calling her dumb. I get it. I like the story. Let's keep going. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. Bro, look how fucking big the screen's getting. Look how small Freya's getting, dog. The fight cam is on. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. I mean, Hyde would also know, too, because Hyde's like a fucking thousand years old. So he's probably been through it all, to be honest. And you choose which one is best for you. Pretty simple. Oh shit, fight cam's gone. I... I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away. Aw, oh, you scared her off. But thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. Damn, Hyde. You fucked, him. you fucked her up. I mean, you're- she's right. You're right. You're both right. <sighs> Freya looks upset. I don't blame her. You were super harsh, old man. <laughs> and he laughs about it. <laughs> That's a very Hyde thing to do, I assume. But you agree with me, don't you? Well... Yeah, she does. You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know? I mean, yeah, but at some point, you just gotta, like, be truthful, you know? The best friends are always the most honest with you, you know? Like, if you're being a dumb bitch, your friend better call you out on it, or you're gonna keep being a dumb bitch, you know? What are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Oh yeah, where is Gala, though? Oh, there's Gala, I assume. Oh, there he is. Hey, Gala. Good evening, everyone. You missed the fight. 
Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. Harshly. To someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Gala's like, <laughs> hold on guys. Before you start with this bullshit, I need to get drunk. Then you folks tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Is it the ginger or coffee? Do you remember my fury remedy? I keep saying furry. I keep reading that as furry. It's fury. God damn it. I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure. Should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yes. Tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. I'll know when I get it right. Okay, so... Tea, ginger... Mm. Tea, ginger... Get a little sweetness to it. Tea, ginger, and honey. Did he ask for tea? I completely forgot. Shit, I can't check. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, Ginger with tea. Okay, tea, ginger. So tea, ginger, and honey. Whatever, let's try it. Ginger, honey, tea. Here's your drink, sir. He does not look happy. Hmm. I'm a hundred percent sure. This is not the remedy I would need. All right, fuck. Let me try brewing another one. It's okay. I'm more interested in the story anyway. Well, I fucked that up. So, tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. All right, so there's this girl. Oh shit, okay, I was gonna say, we have to sit through a whole fucking storytelling again. And that's about it. Hide. Oh, hide. You never change, do you? Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now? Dude, honesty is good and all. But, you know, try to not be a dick. Listen to her, Hyde. I'm just agreeing with everybody. I don't have an opinion. Don't drag me. I don't want to pick sides. She's got a good point. Uh, not you too. I was a bit surprised though. Usually, you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. <laughs> you do know me. We've been friends for years. Are you going to make out now or what? Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. That's a good thing, Hyde. That's a good thing. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic. Judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right. But there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? Oh, afraid you're leaving me? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. I guess I wouldn't know what time it is. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Bye, Freya. Still haven't paid. Still have never paid one cent. Hey, guys. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. <laughs> Alright. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something, indeed. 
Hmm. You said something about being my friend for years. Yes. Why? Do you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? Hmm. Forget it. It's late, anyway. I need to get back. Huh? All right, Andrew. Thanks for the evening. No problem. Hi, the pleasure is mine. Bye. It's you and me, Gala. The boy is back at it. Can we discuss your coffee problem? What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Da -da -da. Care for another drink to end the day? Huh. <laughs> sure. Am I not gonna make it? I guess not. Is that it? Are we done? Are we done? Oh, okay, we're done. Uh, shit. Shit, I can't pause it. Whatever. Uh, that's day four. That's day four, right? Yeah, that's day four, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's probably, that's definitely probably it for the series for right now. If you guys want more after this eventually comes out, I can make more. Uh, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you all. Shout out to everybody who I hired to do this. Uh, you're all great. I hopefully posted all your links and everything in a description. If you want to hire them, hire them. They're great. I don't actually know what they sound like or who they are yet because I obviously recorded this before. But I assume they're fantastic. So yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. Like again, like I said, if you want more, tell me. I'll make more. Uh, I have other ideas for games too. Uh, so yeah, bye, I guess, bye.